What's up guys, Steve Conroy with Lugaway Junk Removal and Demolition. Happy 2021. It is going to be a big, big, big year for everyone in junk removal. Whether you've been in business, you were in business first year last year, you're thinking about starting a business, you did just start a business, it's going to be a big, big year for us all. I can just feel it. Um, so in this video today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about junk removal advertising. What works, what doesn't work, uh, the whole nine yards, and we'll talk about the heavy hitter at the end. So without further ado, let's dive in. So to start off, let's get the big cheese out of the way, the big guy. Google Ads, Google AdWords, do they work? Is it worth it? Yada, yada, yada. Answer to your question is yes, yes, yes. A thousand times yes, a thousand percent yes. Google AdWords is worth it. If anyone tries to tell you different, I don't know who you're talking to, but just, you know, just get away from them because they're probably smoking crack, I would assume. I don't even know. Maybe there's something else on the, on the mean streets that we don't know about. And you just smoke it and you just start talking shit about Google Ads. Um, Google Ads is worth it, guys. It has its pros and cons. Um, so when you start your business or even if you've been in business for a little bit, no one knows that you're in business. You need to get your name out there. What better way to do that than using the number one search engine in the friggin' world? Um, it does have its pros and cons though. So you have to understand that going into it. If you don't have a lot of money up front to, to use towards Google ads, it's not going to be worth it for you. So don't, you know, just start a business and say, oh, you know, we, we made some money. I'm just going to throw it towards Google ads. It's not a good idea. Um, start small, work your way up to it. Um, but we have had success with Google ads. So I will use my example. Um, or I will use myself as an example and my business, Lugaway, as an example because I feel it's a great example for Google Ads. So 2018, I started in January. 2018, all year, no Google Ads. 2019, no Google Ads. 2020, I believe it was the end of winter when I started. It might have been in the middle of winter because... When you start a Google Ads campaign, it doesn't just like start right off the rip. You have to kind of start it and then figure out what's working and not working and kind of hone in on it. Um, it's a whole it's a whole thing. Um, so yeah, so first two years didn't have it. Once I started using Google Ads, uh, yes, there was an uptick in inquiries through my website. So Google Ads, for those of you who don't know, you pay to be at the top of the, the, the Google search. So someone types in junk removal near me and they're in your service area or whatever. Um, they click go and you pop up, Steve's junk removal. And they click you because they're like, oh nice, this guy's at the top of the list. Click and that's how it happens. That click can cost between, I don't know, like five and like 50 bucks depending on how you have it set up. Um, so, if you are gonna go down that road, you're going to want to have a business set that up for you that knows what they're doing because you can lose a lot of money quickly um, in uh, in doing it yourself. So yes, we saw an uptick in inquiries through our website. Um, people clicking on the link, it brings you to the website. I have a form they fill out that shoots me an email and you know the ball starts rolling. Um, what I noticed with the customers we were getting from Google was that there was a fair amount of price shoppers. They are good customers and they are paying customers, but they are definitely price shoppers. And by price shopping, I mean someone who's reaching out to you that doesn't really have the best intentions. They're just trying to shop around for who's the cheapest and, uh, and, and you know, sometimes they don't go with you. So before we were using Google Ads, all of my other advertising, well, there we go, boys. Get a little kickback on the truck there. Um, before we were using Google Ads, the marketing that I was doing and that I'm still doing 
um, brought in customers that wanted to use our service. Yes, they would call and have questions, but through these routes, I would say, of, of marketing and advertising, if I got a call, I was confident that, that we were going to get the job. Yes, I did have to sell myself. Yes, you're never gonna stop having to sell yourself. But uh, when Google started you know, throwing, throwing customers at us left and right, um, it was like 50%, uh, 50% like worked and, or not worked, but we got 50% of the jobs and the other 50% were, you know, people that you'd email, they never email, email back, you follow up with them or they say, oh, never mind. I thought, you know, this was like a free service or, you know, how crazy these people are. Um, and that was at the beginning. Now we've kind of weeded through the, the, uh, the ad words and, and all that stuff. So when, when someone's contacting us through Google and I get that um, email, I know it's a Google customer. Um, you know, I know I have to work them a little bit, but, but we're, we're getting most of them. We're getting most of them. Um, so yes, Google 100% works. The reason I didn't go with Google in 2018 and in 2019 was because I was actually afraid that I was going to get too much work and I wasn't going to be able to handle it because we were we were still very busy. I mean, we did six figures the first year we were in business. So we were still very busy, um, but I didn't have like extra hands. Um, the people that were working for me, you know, were kind of like these fly by night guys, besides my buddies that helped out. Um, you know, very unreliable. So uh, I was I was afraid that I was like, I'm gonna get way too much business, um, which isn't the case. Um, we definitely get a lot of business from it and I can, you know, handle all of it and it's definitely a way to scale your business for sure is using Google Ads. Um, but it's expensive to start out. It's like 1500 bucks, I think, minimum. Um, to start out and you're probably going to be paying a company um, to, to do that for you so then there's another fee on top of that and then you know just because you spend fifteen hundred dollars doesn't mean that you know every click is a conversion uh, so there's pros and cons to it but I will say yes Google Ads is is a great way of advertising and I would honestly say that it is a must if you're trying to grow and expand your business. Now that we have Google out of the way, I know there's probably more questions about it, so ask them in the comments, shoot me messages on Instagram and Facebook, and, and maybe I'll have to do a whole other thing on Google. Um, but put Google to the side, now let's hop into social media. Facebook, Instagram, um, we'll rope you know, Twitter in there, LinkedIn, uh, Snapchat, which like, Someone asked me about Snapchat. I mean, I don't think you're getting any business from Snapchat. If you are, that's awesome. Um, uh, Tumblr, all these, all, all social media. So off the rip, regardless of if you get a direct lead from like an Instagram post or a Facebook post, regardless of if that happens or you get no business from it at all and you're like, oh, I keep posting, it doesn't seem like anything's working. In the background, it's working. So posting on social media and stuff, that's going to help with your SEO, which is search engine optimization, which is something that everyone knows about but no one knows anything about. Um, I can't wrap my head around it, um, but it's search engine optimization. It's like what makes you get recognized online from my understanding. So if you're posting and stuff on Facebook, on Instagram, all, all these social media platforms, people are liking it, people are sharing it, people are engaging with you um, on some of these posts, the internet and Google mainly is like, oh, people are talking about this guy, you know, Lugaway, he's got a lot of stuff going on, like, you know, he posts every day, people are liking it, people are sharing it, people are talking about it, so, you know, it, it'll make you more relevant when people search for you. Um, why, I have no idea, that's just how it works. Um, so, Facebook for me, I get no business from Facebook, at least from from what I know. So I did Facebook ads, um, I got nothing from them. People were liking the uh, ad, people were engaging with it. You can see all the analytics on it, on there. Um, 
I did about nine ads in probably a handful of months. Um, spent a, a decent chunk of change. I wasn't being cheap with it because I wanted to see if it truly uh, did work. Um, and I just, it just didn't work for me. Um, I know people, not in Massachusetts, uh, but I know people in like New York, New Jersey, so like Northeast that um, get all their business from, from Facebook ads. So it's just, my area doesn't seem to, it doesn't seem to work there. Um, maybe I'm just doing it completely wrong and, and other guys in Massachusetts are like hammering out work from Facebook ads, but it didn't work for me. What works for me on Facebook, and I actively post on Facebook every day. Anything I put on Instagram, like half of it, a little less than half of it will go on Facebook. Um, because it, it seems odd when you're like oversaturating your, uh, your Facebook page. Um, but what works for me on Facebook is like the town Facebook pages, these like mom groups and stuff. So um, like you, you live in a town, right? Say so you just moved there and you, and you join the town group and you're looking to get your lawn cut. You say, you type in this group, you say, hey, is anyone familiar with a, a lawn care service that uh, does like this street? Maybe they can do, you know, do our house on their route. So people do that for junk removal and everything else as well. So these are people reaching out to these town pages because their personal circle doesn't have references for them and they don't want to go down the Google route because you're not vetted. Anyone can be on Google. Literally anyone can be on Google. So they go into these Facebook pages and into these like mom groups and they say, hey, you know, I have a bunch of, you know, crap that I'm looking to get rid of. And in these groups, in these towns, I have past customers, I have friends, parents, family members, all these people that will say, use Lugaway, here's, here's his number, Steve's great. And I get a notification because they either tag me personally or they tag Lugaway. So when I get the notification, I'll just reach out in that feed and say, you know, hey, uh, you know, Melissa, I, looks like you're looking for a junk removal service. We're happy to help you out. Please reach me at, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I get those all the time and we win those jobs a thousand percent of the time. Besides like the one guy who thinks, you know, if you take his shed down and, you know, he gives you some lemonade and some conversation, you know, during the whole job that, you know, he should give you like 50 bucks for it because, you know, it didn't take you all day. Because um, those people are out there. Everyone knows that. So that's what works for me on Facebook. I know Facebook ads do work for others. Um, Instagram. Instagram is funny, man. People love, 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 love to post on Instagram. If you go on a junk removal Instagram page, besides other junk removal companies, it's very few people who like their photos. Um, for me, the only people that like my photos are realtors that we do business with and other junk removal companies. So, and I like, I used to hammer Instagram posts. like. I would take a picture of every single job that we did and I would like, I wouldn't edit it, but like if it was blurry or I mean, if it was like dark, I would brighten it a little bit, like throw some contrast on, like try and make it look good. But like, man, is that time consuming? You wouldn't think it is, but it totally is. As a matter of fact, last week, the week of New Year's, um, we were like slammed with work. Um, we had that one Wednesday that was like three hours shy of a full day. Um, that that was like a fluke. And then I was doing the uh, day in the lives with the with YouTube, and um, I was just like, you know what? I, I just I just don't need to. I'm not posting on Instagram. Like I'm just not gonna do it. It was in the back of my head all day. And I had someone reach out to me, and they were like, Hey, it looks like you're pretty slow. Um, I haven't seen you posting on Instagram. Like, what are you gonna do to like turn that around? I just started a business, yada, 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 yada. And um, I responded to the kid and I was like, listen, like if, if you think that people are only busy because they're posting on Instagram, then you are sorely, sorely, sorely mistaken, my friend. Um, so yes, posting on Instagram is getting your content out there. Um, but don't think that you have to post every little thing like there's people out there that post just like the dumbest pictures of stuff 
and you can't even tell what it is and then they don't even write anything in like the description or, or where you can like write something they just they just put like hashtag junk removal and it's like the customers that you want to get from Instagram are realtors and like maybe the person who sees it and they're like hey I saw you do this um, you know can you help me out I've had like five jobs from Instagram um, but it's just another form of social media it's another way of just like getting your stuff out there that's pretty easy um, but I wouldn't rely on Instagram to be getting you jobs again and this goes for everything I'm talking about in this video this is for my area this is for me um, elsewhere it is a hundred percent possible that people are getting jobs uh, from Instagram I just don't have that um, customer traffic coming to me through that um, through that realm of advertising um, and that goes with Twitter and that goes with Tumblr I mean I don't think I've ever posted a snapchat I think I have a logo by snapchat I just never posted anything um, besides the like buddies of mine um, so Twitter and Tumblr you can actually post to through the Instagram app and that's what I do I, I check it every once in a while Tumblr and uh, and Twitter to see if um, to see if there's any notifications that someone has reached out um, I've never had anyone reach out I just I just post to them through Instagram um, because it's easy it's a click of a button and it goes to two other sources um, for the SEO purposes um, so and LinkedIn we can touch on LinkedIn LinkedIn is I mean there's a realtor that reached out to me and we have gotten a bunch of business um, from them but she also had found me on Facebook and then when she saw me on LinkedIn she like remembered she wanted to call me so I guess in in that aspect it works but um, again it's just another uh, another tool to kind of be hammering out uh, hammering out the SEO uh, factor um, so other than that you're gonna be looking at like Yelp and Angie's list so to me Yelp is like I have a Yelp page that's it I'm not paying Yelp for leads I'm not paying to have you know information up there it's just I don't know I, I just don't I don't get business from Yelp um, and that could very well be because I haven't dumped any money into it but I just get so much business from our other sources that I haven't needed to go to Yelp that doesn't mean that I shouldn't go to Yelp and maybe I should um, in the future but Yelp um, just like when I spoke to someone who reached out to me from Yelp it just screamed home advisor at me and I just told them nicely I was like listen I'm not interested um, if I'm interested please give me your contact info he was not able to give me his contact info this guy was asking me like how much I made a year how much I made after taxes like all this wild stuff um, and Angie's list was the same thing so I don't know what's going on with them I know people in Massachusetts that do get a bunch of business from Angie's list and Yelp but um, for me it uh, it's it's just not uh, not something that uh, that we do um, so that's that for for Yelp and Angie's list then you have oh my god home advisor and thumbtack stay 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 away I'm going to make a video on how I made six figures with home advisor because I did home advisor is all I used my first year and it was an absolute nightmare of a year I didn't know any better and we did six figures in sales that doesn't mean I kept six figures um, but just stay away from home advisor stay away from thumbtack thumbtack I use for demolition we get a fair amount of demolition jobs but the thumbtack people um, just like the home advisor people they're, they're just they're just price shoppers they're they're just like they just suck so I just cut uh, cut out of that video real quick to um, go scrap some of this copper but I just want to show you this guy older guy in a junk removal truck it's called junk it now um, guys anyone can do this you can make money doing this you just got to get out there and just do it the heavy hitter that everyone needs 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 to do 
for advertising, for marketing, and it's free, is your Google My Business page. I cannot stress this enough. I did not have a Google My Business page for most of 2018, which is just so sad. I was so out of the loop with everything. I was just, work came in and we went and I just did like very little social media stuff and I've never been a social media guy and never been like an internet guy. Um, Google My Business, it is free and it is your best friend. Um, you're gonna set up your business name, your logo, the areas you want to service, um, your date, uh, your the times that you're open, everything, everything is on this page. And a very, very, very helpful hint for you is if you don't have junk removal in your physical name, like Lugaway's legal name is Lugaway LLC. Um, but on Google, and I didn't do this for a very long time, on Google My Business, I had Lugaway LLC. And I was like, why am I not on any of the, uh, the map directories? Why am I not uh, getting ranked on Google? Like all this stuff, I'm getting business and no one seems to be able to find me online unless they type in Lugaway LLC. So what I did was I changed it to Lugaway Junk Removal and Demolition. Now I'm the top guy in the directory for like five of the towns that we service. And it's like, why didn't I think of that beforehand? So do that. Google My Business page is your best friend. It is free. Post to it. Write something in the description that's thoughtful. Um, fill out your service area. Fill out the times that you're working. Um, holiday hours. Update it. Just, just do all of that. But also put in junk removal in your name. Um, like I did, Lugaway LLC, I just put in Lugaway Junk Removal and Demolition. So when you type in junk removal, it is connected to your business. That's why no one was finding me because they would type in junk removal and Lugaway has nothing to do with junk removal unless you go to my website and there's, you know, junk removals written all over it, but I'll never be able to find it. Um, so that is the heavy hitter right there. Google Ads is huge. Um, you don't need that to start out though. Um, one golden nugget that I will give you if you have followed along this long in the video, I know some people probably trailed off and said this kid's talking in circles, all this stuff. One golden nugget I will give you and it has worked wonders for us. We've pulled back a little bit because it can get expensive. You need to advertise and this doesn't go for every town or every service area, but this works for me in the area that I'm in. You need to advertise in local, local, local newspapers. And I know that's old school and people are like, no one reads a newspaper. Let me tell you, old people read the newspaper. You know where else we, you know where else we, uh, we get a, get a, bunch of business from, I don't know why that was so hard for me to say, church bulletins. This is like, I feel like I should be charging you for this information. Church bulletins were the bread and butter of Lugaway's existence in 2018 and 2019. And it still is now. We're pulling back a little bit because, you know, they needed to up their rates and you know, all, all this stuff. But, um, oh my God, it's like, those are the people that I was talking about in the beginning um, that were like, if you're calling me, you wanna use the service. Um, you're not calling just to like call around. Um, those people that are in like, the towns that I service have these hometown weekly things where you can, um, you advertise in them and then you can put a bigger ad for, you know, like the Thanksgiving football day or the Thanksgiving day football game, um, stuff like that. I'm telling you guys, that stuff works. People still read the newspaper. I don't care where you're at. Older folks read the newspaper and guess who has all the junk in the world? Older folks. So tidbit of information, tidbit of gold 
for you if you've been uh, if you've stayed on track with us uh, throughout the video um, that's my two cents on it again this all revolves around this works for me this is my experience and I want you to take my experience and use it um, for yourself and you know work around some of the stuff that I've spoken about um, today this isn't this doesn't mean that Facebook's never gonna work for you because Facebook could very well work for you um, Google Ads could start you know hammering you with work um, and and maybe it's not slow like it started out for me very slow um, you will get a return on investment with Google Ads um, and the Google my business is free you absolutely need a Google My Business. If you start a business, even before you start the business, just make the friggin' page. Just make the page and then start the business if you want. I don't think you can do it that way, but even if you've never done a job before, just start the business page. Google My Business page. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, subscribe. I, I've made this channel for you guys. I've made this to offer information. I've been filming a lot of day in the lives because that's what you guys seem to like. Um, I enjoy doing them as well, um, but I've, I've just been getting a lot of questions from people and it's easier to make videos on them and kind of just rant than to answer, um, you know, like 50 questions in the day. I just make one of these videos for it and, uh, and it is what it is. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you've been following the channel, I wanna thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, all this content is getting out there faster um, than it was before. I don't know what's going on with like algorithms or how YouTube sees it, but people are engaging with, uh, with me through the channel and that's helping get this content out there more and that's the goal behind this channel is to help you and help other people grow or start um, their business. I have more videos like this that I'm going to put out, so stay tuned, be patient with me. Um, I've kind of been holding on to them for a little bit, um, starting to film them now, um, but I felt that it was uh, good to wait and do it now after you know we just had a year, um, some people's first year in business, uh, maybe their second or third year in business, after a year in business, you kind of always got to reflect and say, you know, we got to take a step back, look at the bigger picture here. Um, and for those of you starting a business, you know, this is going to be beneficial uh, to you as well. Uh, so stay tuned to the channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks.